Hello and welcome to this GIMP 2.8 tutorial. I'm going to show you how to install GMIC, Gracie's Magic Image Converter, um, which is a collection of around 458 free filters for GIMP. So let's start. First of all, we need to visit the GMIC sourceforge.net website. Um, you can see that here, gmic.sourceforge.net. When you get to the page, click on the gmic, gmic for GIMP link, and you'll see that there are several versions, obviously depending on which computer operating system you're using. Now, in this tutorial, I'm using Windows 7 and I'll show you how to find out which version of Windows 7 you're running or which ver version of Windows, um, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. If you click Start, right-click on your computer and choose Properties. When the image, uh, when the window opens, you should be able to see here under System Type, it says 64-bit operating system, so I know that's what I need to download. Now, if you have the Windows 32-bit operating system, um, there's an installer file, and you simply need to double-click on the installer, and GMIC will be installed. Um, however, I'm using the Windows 64-bit version, and um, when you download this, it comes in a zip file. So I'm going to show you how to install it if you are using the 64-bit version. Click on the download link. And the download starts in a few seconds. Um, save the file. When the file's downloaded, we need to open the zip file. So I'm going to double click on that. Um, this is us in the zip folder, as you can see here. Um, I need to go into the GMIC folder. And I'm using GIMP 2.8, so I need this version of the plugin. And in here, are all the files that we need to select by clicking Control A on the keyboard and Control C to copy everything. Next I need to paste these into the proper directory in my um, system and on Windows if you click Start, Computer, um, go to your user directory. Uh, my user directory is named User but you, yours may be your own name. Um, in that folder, I'm looking for the .gimp-2.8 folder in there. I'm looking for the plugins folder here. And in the plugins folder, I need to right click and choose paste. And here are all the additional um, uh, GMIC um, files. Um, placed in the plugins folder. Next I need to start GIMP. And I'm going to open up a file that I've that I want to use to uh, test the new filters with. And if you go up to filters you will now see that there's a new GMIC um, option in the Filters tab. And when you click on that, the first thing that comes up is you have around about 200 and odd filters. Now, this isn't the full set. You can get more filters. Just make sure that the Internet option is selected and hit the Refresh icon. Obviously, you need to be connected to the Internet to do this. So click on the Refresh icon and uh, GMIC starts to update its filters and when it's finished you should have around about 458 new filters. Now all of the filters in GMIC are arranged by category so to select a filter go into a category and for example I'm going to choose the cartoon um, filter. 
Now there's a preview window here. You can click and drag on the little move icon and move around the image so you can see what it looks like and before you click the, to apply the filter. There are also various settings on this side. You can change the smoothness on here and once you've finished click OK. That's an example of the cartoon filter. I'm going to undo that by pressing Ctrl Z. Um, let's have a look at some more filters. Um, some interesting filters that I really like in GMIC are the black and white filters. Um, specifically the, the black and white conversion filter. It's really nice because you can change the individual levels of the uh, red, green and blue channels so you can get nice black and white conversions. So for example we'll do that one. Um, I'm going to undo that one. Other interesting filters in GMIC are the enhancement filters. Um, one in particular um, which is quite good. You can also um, resize the the um, the window here by just clicking and dragging here um, is the um, smoothing filters for reducing noise. Um, anisotropic smoothing is a, a, a really nice filter. Um, if we look up here it has a, a lovely smoothing effect. Um, you can switch preview on and off so you can see the difference before and after click OK and depending on the size of the image um, various filters in GMIC can take a little while to um, to complete um, but this one's given a, a very nice result and so that's a short introduction to GMIC and um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and um, if you'd like to leave any comments I'd be grateful thanks very much for watching